Hey everyone, I'm Lem. Welcome to my life. Now, a couple of you, and I mean literally two out of the 43 wonderful individuals who are subscribed to my channel, might have been wondering, where's that Lem gone? I haven't seen any of these eating things videos clogging up my newsfeed lately. What's with that? Well, I will be completely honest with you. For a long time, I was super majorly miserable. I was just depressed. No particular reason why, it just happens sometimes. Yeah, I did actually record and upload a whole long rant about my mental health story. I didn't make it public, so nobody saw it, but I was wondering whether anyone might like to see it. I know it's not the happiest of topics, of course, but it is an important issue. Let me know in the comments if you've been perhaps interested in seeing that. After that, I discovered The Sims 4. I'm not proud of myself. Um, yeah, today I basically just wanted to catch up with you guys, say hi, I haven't ceased to exist, and yeah, happy summer. Uh, I say that, but uh, weather's looking pretty inclement outside actually. I was wearing sunglasses when I headed out, and then I almost got rained on torrentially on the way back, so German summer for you. Today I went to Ikea for a ridiculously single person who lives in a flat the size of a postage stamp. I do spend an inordinate amount of time in Ikea, but part of that is to do with the fact that I'm a family member. And there are, in fact, lots of perks to being a family member. For instance, they email you vouchers, which you can come in store and spend. There's kind of lottery factor to it because you don't know how much the voucher will be worth until you take it to the till. It's in the form of a QR code, which is scanned like a barcode. Thought, yeah, might go spend that. And also, being a family member means that on your birthday, for instance, you get a slice of free cake in the cafe. You always get unlimited hot drinks. In Germany, at least, that's still the case. You get discounts on products. So yeah, not bad going, would recommend. And today, there was also a special action going on uh, to mark Midsommar. Please don't crucify me if I pronounce that horribly wrong. It was 150 grams of pick and mix free. And then you just pay for if you go over that, which I of course did because I mean pick and mix. I haven't done this in years. The nostalgia factor was immense. Could a chomp and talk. There were some things I couldn't resist trying. They have the usual sort of cola bottles and fizzy cherries, but also things like watermelon wedges, which I've never seen before, and these massive things. Now, this looks a bit suspicious to me because licorice is something I don't really like and that black has to be licorice, right? We're talking Scandinavia here. But the flavour on the sign said cheesecake. So, mini taste test for you here. Oh yeah, it's got some funny writing on it too. It looks like it says bubs, blibs. Can you make that out? Yellow end first. Mmm, nice consistency. Do you know? That is the funniest thing. There is an actual little hint of vanilla cheesecake then. A sort of really creamy kind of filling. Blech, 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 blech. Uh. Oh gosh, the black bit is not nice. Uh, that is salty. Oh gosh. Mm. Now I have a Swedish friend who adores, true to form, <laughs> this salty licorice that is particular to the Scandinavian countries. And I did also once have a Finnish pen friend who sent me a little box of salmiaki pastels. And they are tiny little licorice diamonds, quite hard. I tried to convince myself that I like them, just to seem sophisticated. Um, yeah, no, handed them round in school and I did not make any friends. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, there's another one. This one is safer colours. Again, it says bubs, bloops, whatever. I cannot remember what this flavour was supposed to be. Ooh, banana. Very banana. But the dark side is banana. So what's the yellow bit going to be? Exactly like one of those foam bananas you used to get, you know? With the pink shrimps. And the yellow here, you know, sticking my teeth together. 
Weirdly enough, the yellow is less banana than the brown. Maybe it's like when you get actual bananas, and if you get them while well, they're still not very ripe and they're this colour, then they don't taste as strongly as when they've gone a bit squishy and you can make them into banana bread and they're quite sweet. Hmm. Logic. I did use my voucher. What on, you will be asking me? Well, after much deliberation, I got... Six new additions to my family. Meet the succulents. Now, I could not choose between them. I spent an absolute age trying to pick because as you can see they are all different shapes and sizes. I like them all. I really could have taken them all home. My reasoning behind this was I wanted a kind of low maintenance desk plant for the office. Something that looks kind of extra but is actually quite easy to take care of. Basically myself in plant form. Oh the sun's come back. It's kind of a nostalgic thing for me as well because my grandfather used to have a great greenhouse full of cacti. Unfortunately he passed away when I was too young to really remember him. From what I've heard we have quite a lot in common. He also had a fascination for Germany oddly enough, as well as playing the violin. There are many things that we could have talked about. Also, all my colleagues seem to have wonderful jungles in their rooms. I thought it might be nice to have a bit of green as well. But now that I've been working in Frankfurt for almost three years, can you believe? It'll be three years in August, which the mind boggles, quite honestly. I will take them in this cute little handy carry case to work. I may mix them around. I'm not sure which ones I want on my desk. I want three in my room and three in work. But yeah, I kind of want to give them quirky names or something like, I don't know, Evangeline. Or name them after six of the seven dwarves. I don't know. If you come up with something, let me know in the comments below, okay? So what else have I been up to? Actually, a fair bit. A few weeks ago was the Night of Science, which is held every year at the local university campus. And there's a whole night of lectures and exhibitions and experiments. And so in the of Science, I'll be It literally goes on from about 6pm until something stupid like 3 in the morning. They give you breakfast if you survive all the way through, but I've never made it yet, so maybe one day. We had some liquid nitrogen ice cream, very nice, and I bought a really cute mug. This is actually from 2017, so it was cheaper, but I did attend the Night of Science in 2017, so it makes sense. You can sort of collect them retroactively. Quite nice. I think these are antibodies, aren't they? We got to look at crystals which glow in the dark under UV lighting. That was a lot of, ooh, ah, pretty. They trot them out every year, but it's still nice, you know. There was a room which was kind of Game of Thrones themed. Students in lab coats with like grandmaster badges were shaking what looked like potion bottles. And when, as they did so, the mixtures within would change colour and change back again once they'd sort of settled. It was really fascinating. Last weekend, I did something incredible. I went to see Muse in Cologne with a friend. It was absolutely wonderful just to get away for a weekend. We ended up eating in a medieval tavern on the outskirts of Cologne, which is so random. And we were drinking from pewter mugs and there was Viking music in the background. I was totally loving it. But the two of us were just trying not to burst out laughing the whole time. We were like the only people in there as well. Kind of awkward. And the arena where we saw Muse was absolutely enormous. I had never seen a concert in that big a venue. Boiling hot the entire time. My seat was a pool of sweat, but I didn't end up using my seat because the people in front did not use their seats, meaning if you wanted to see anything, you had to stand. He 
being <laughs> vertically challenged needs must. And it did mean that we could dance around like loonies. <laughs> And while we're on the theme of t-shirts actually, uh, something else that I've acquired recently is this lovely t-shirt from Mango. And uh, I picked it up in the sale, I just couldn't resist it. It's a simple, very thin cotton tee. It's just perfect for the budding writer, because can you see what it says all over it? Things like, what's your story to be continued? And they all lived <laughs> happily ever after. So yeah, I wore it to writing group last week I was there. Other than that, I don't think there's really much else to tell you. I have been drinking milkshakes at Five Guys, I have been eating prodigious amounts, I've been enjoying what Frankfurt has to offer in the summer. Speaking of which, I'm thinking of starting a new series of videos with a Frankfurt theme. I realise many of you might not know what life in Germany is like and you might be interested about what brought me here, the struggles I faced when I first got here, uh, what I like about the city, what I don't, things to do, places to go, just the general ins and outs of life here. If you like the sound of that, then please like and subscribe and share with your friends. It would be absolutely amazing if I could hit 50 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be an insane achievement. Yeah, no pressure, but just throwing it out there. <laughs> If you can think of any names for my spiky boys, please put them down below. And I think that's about it for now. Oil love. <laughs>